I almost wasn't able to make a video this week, which I'm sure would have disappointed tens of people. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. And uh, yeah, had a little problem with the computer, it died on me, so uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get a video out this week, but uh, here we are. It's the end of the year, in fact the day we're putting this out is Christmas Day, so uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that jazz to everybody out there. Uh, thanks everyone that's been watching the channel, really do appreciate it. Um, working my butt off to get a video out every week. It's a lot of work, but I really enjoy it, and I really appreciate everyone that's watching and all the subscribers. And hey, if you're not subscribed, it doesn't take much to hit the little red button and do that. I would appreciate that greatly. So, here we go. The title of this video uh, has something to do with my best musky fishing year that I've had so far. And I want to clarify that because most people would designate that by saying this is the most amount of muskies I've ever caught in a year or I got my biggest muskie this year and that is not the case for me whatsoever. <laughs> this year was my best year of muskie fishing not because of the number of fish or because of the size of the fish, but because of the number of places I was able to go and uh, all the cool people I was able to meet uh, doing this crazy sport. And I just wanted to go back over all the cool things we got to do this year, uh, go over a couple of the fish we caught and that sort of stuff. We started out the year musky fishing by traveling to Ohio, which has an open season all year. In fact, uh, most states now have year round seasons. So Nate and I shot down to Ohio and uh, met with our buddy Cody Dalton to do a little bit of shore fishing, which was a little bit different, and this happened. Fish! Fish, fish, fish! That's a dandy, boys. That's a dandy. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish. <laughs> that is a beaut. Got to be like a low mid 40s, maybe, like a 43, 44. She's thick, too. Buddy. On a mid Dusa. Yeah, look at how thick that fish is. Uh, a beautiful fish to catch from shore, and uh, quite honestly, it was the best video I had all year. It's sitting at over. 360,000 views right now. Uh, why? I don't know. There was nothing terribly exceptional about the video. Really nice 42 and a half inch fish that we caught there and uh, it was just a ton of fun to be able to go somewhere that time of year and uh, get my hands on a muskie. So that wasn't the first time we went to Ohio. We went back uh, about a month later and got to do some fishing out of the boat and got into just a ton of fish back in the marina. Uh, had a lot of fun, a lot of swings and misses. Uh, was only fortunate enough to uh, capture one fish. It was a low 30 inch fish, but saw a lot of nice fish. And being from Wisconsin, it's just nice that time of year to get out and be able to throw some baits around and just see the darn things. So the next place I was able to go this year was Iowa. Uh, never been there musky fishing. I uh, got an invite from my good friend Matt Vavrock uh, to come out and check out some of the fisheries they have there. Matt and his lovely wife Callie were nice enough to put me up for a couple days and Matt took me out and uh, showed me a couple of the cool lakes that he has at his disposal out there in Iowa. And actually we fished with uh, another good friend of mine now, Steve Jonasy, uh, we got in the boat with him and put this really nice fish in the boat. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, man. Does not hook good. Get him up and I. There we go. Got him. Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh. Dude, way to go. <laughs> That's the one we was looking it for is. the other day. Oh, Dude, real. okay. Look at the melon on that one. All right. Oh. 
Oh, look at that fish. <laughs> Dude. Steve, nice. you can get in here, man. Way to go. We'll pull a still Way off to this. Go. <laughs> so cool. We're All right. About 15 minutes in. Holy cow. I'm going to drop her in back here. She's starting to tense up a little bit. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. She's ready to go. She's not happy, but that's our height. We're happy. All right, girl. Nice stick, 42. Beautiful fish. Look at her go. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> See you later. See you next time. Go eat some shad. Oh my goodness, that is... Saw a lot of other nice fish that day. That was the only one that we could put in the bag, but it was, again, just fun to be somewhere new, uh, checking out the fisheries that are available in some of the places that you wouldn't think of. Uh, definitely Iowa was not on my radar until this year, and it for sure is now. As we got into summer, unfortunately, with uh, all this crazy virus stuff happening, Canada was still not on the table, unfortunately. So second year in a row, we missed the Ontario musky opener. Uh, so we shot up to northern Wisconsin and <laughs> somehow managed to not catch a whole lot up there. So that was kind of a bust. But I was able to do one of the coolest trips uh, of the year. I went out to Lake St. Clair to fish with Mark Kornoski, my friend Nate, and the legendary Larry Ramsell, uh, musky historian. I'm sure you guys know who Larry is. Uh, but being able to share a boat with him and fish with him was just a blast. And uh, here's one of the nice fish that we boated with Captain Mark Kornoski on Lake St. Clair. Here's a fish, here's a fish, here's a fish. Got it, got it, got it. Oop, he's gonna go over here. He's gonna come back around the other way. <laughs> or not. Oh boy. Nice well, fish. that's not a bad fish. Let Ooh. me get down there and see if I can. Let's see if she was a feisty. Oh, yeah. It's a nice fish. That is a beautiful fish. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she is. You got a tail? Yeah, I got a tail. Alright. Yeah. 45. Wow. Kind of bring her to the middle of the video. Yeah, 45 and a quarter. Half, I think you got the half. Okay. All right. Man, what a gorgeous fish. Wow, you're just underneath. Again, this year wasn't filled with tons of fish or big fish, but just cool places to go. My friend Nathan and I uh, went and did some exploring on some small bodies of water and got into some nice fish and just had a blast in general getting away from the crowds and fishing places that we've never checked out before. Used some online resources to do some scouting and found some just absolutely gorgeous places to fish and bump into a couple of muskies. Now as the year went on uh, we got word that Canada was going to be opening its borders and thankfully August 9th that happened. Just so happens we had a trip to Eagle Lake scheduled for the 19th of August. So my friend Jamie and I and my friend Nate and his dad were able to cross the border successfully, go up to Cole Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge, my favorite place to stay on Eagle Lake, and chase muskies once again after a two-year hiatus on Eagle Lake. And we didn't kill them, we didn't get any huge ones, but we did manage to put a few nice fish in the boat. It felt so good to be back up in Canada. I, I can't explain how good that felt. I, I can only hope that uh, things stay the same, uh, although it's not looking good right now, but hopefully we can get up there again uh, for our June trip and uh, keep our fingers crossed for that one. As we got into the fall of the year, once again, I headed over to Iowa to fish with my friend Matt Vavrock and uh, our new friend Ben Stone came down from Minnesota. 
We had three fabulous days of musky fishing in Iowa and uh, had the best time uh, having Ben in the boat. Uh, he's a fantastic young editor. If you've not checked out his channel, canalgratis.com yet, uh, I'll leave a link uh, for that and for Matt's channel and anybody that I've fished with this year, I'll, I'll leave their information in the link below so you can check that stuff out. Now as we got later in the year uh, into November, uh, I haven't come out with the videos from this trip yet, but I met up again with Ben Stone and uh, we headed out uh, to meet our mutual friends, Captain Mark Kornoski and Mike Ducci out on Lake St. Clair. We put in four days of fishing uh, this uh, magnificent body of water and uh, just had a fantastic time. Uh, I'll put a couple clips of uh, the fish that we caught, but if you want to see the full catches and all that fun stuff that goes along with it, I'll have those videos coming out in the next month or two, so check those out. Look forward to those. All right, folks, well, that's that for the wrap-up for the year. Uh, again, I just had such a fun time going to new places. I made so many new friends this year. Uh, there's a lot of really cool people in the muskie community, and it is just fun to get out and hop in a boat with someone new uh, and get to know a little bit about them and every now and again we do bump into these crazy fish that we like to chase the muskies uh so just a fantastic year uh couldn't have been better and i'm looking forward to next year hopefully more fish hopefully bigger fish but you just got to go out and chase them because you never know what's going to happen while you're musky fishing thank you everyone so much for watching uh i can't believe we're almost at 8,000 subscribers this is fantastic uh, appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you on the next video